Hi guys, now I'm going to show you something called Pinterest. Now this is an interesting website that allows you to literally share your bookmarks between your friends and potentially your students. It's very useful for project work when you set work for groups of students and it is becoming more and more common on the internet where people are pinning many different websites. Um, and some of my students already know about it so it is, it is growing. Now it might be nice for students to be supplied a page full of resources available for them to use in order to study and to practice for a particular exam or subject. You can find it by Google or if you want to you can use this link you can see on the task worksheet. Now first you need to create an account as I'll show you in the video now. And then you pin websites just like you would when you're bookmarking a website. Um, websites you find interesting and um, these appear on your Pinterest page. You can leave comments with them. This will allow the students to navigate and easily find things they are specifically looking for. Um, and you can then group the pins together into different categories, organizing them for your students to navigate easily. I want you guys to create an interest account. Build your own profile. It's not very complicated, I'll show you how to do it now. Once you've done that, create your own collection of pins related to the subjects that you teach or anything else you can think is useful for your students. When it's completed, hand in the task via Edmodo by pressing the turn in button and link your website, your Pinterest page in Edmodo via the turn in page. Now you can find it by this link here or like I said you can simply Google it and it will appear very easy. Once you've accessed the website you'll be taken to a home page which you also suggested pages from other Pinterest members. I automatically log in whenever I join Pinterest to save my information. You, however, you will be required to create your own account. That is very, very easy. We did something similar with that Mojo and in the audio boom, so for this you'll have no problems. When you've done so, you'll have your own Pinterest page. And this is one I've created as an example for you guys. You've got a collection of reading resources, a collection of grammar resources, listening resources, writing resources, speaking, and of course cooking recipes as well. Your page will begin empty. What you then do is find a website that you think would be good for your students. I do lots of cooking, so I'll go to cooking websites for example. Um, with Pinterest, when you've got the page, uh, the account set up, you're given the option to install an add-on for Google Chrome or from Oscar Firefox over here. That allows you to instantly pin any image that you see on a website. For example, if you see here, in the corner it's got pin it with all of these images. I can pin any of the individual links or images on this site simply by pressing this. It will open a new window and it will tell me to choose a board where to put this pin. I'll put it in, in recipes in English and it will appear there. You can also of course press the button installed and then you get to choose from all of the available pins on this website. All websites have a lot of pins. Let's have a look at another example. Let me take you to BBC. Fantastic website, one I use all the time. You go here, again, you can pin different sections. If I choose the Pinterest button, I can choose important parts. Now I use 6 minute English a lot for listening tasks, so I go to 6 minute English, put it into listening resources, and it will appear there. 
Once I attach that pin, I'm given the option to view it in the Pinterest site, or I can just go navigate there myself. I can go to the listening resources, and any pins I have put here would appear. As you can see, I have a lot of listening resources. Now, this might seem quite simple at first glance. You might think, why not just bookmark things and then email them to your students? That makes it a bit more, in my opinion, difficult to email everything to your students. Instead, I'd rather give them a link to my Pinterest page and say, if you're looking to improve certain skills, then choose the reading resources, for example. For other teachers, of course, you're teaching different topics, different types of mathematics. You can have pins related to algebra or to geometry. For geography, you can have pins related to Spain or to different countries. So the, the, the resources available on the internet are amazing, but there are so many. I like to think of this as a way of collecting what I have gone through and I found important and literally giving my students a shortcut. Now I'd like you to do the same. Simple as that. Create an account and create a pin board. Something that you believe your students could benefit from. Take into consideration what do your students really need from the internet. There are lots of resources available. Go through and see what you can find. My example here is the cooking room. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. When you've completed this, please hand it in via Ed Thank you.